The historic countdown underway right now in Florida, and we are just hours away from the start of a new space race. Looking live at the launch pad 39 B at the Kennedy Space Center, Artemis one is ready for liftoff this morning. The SLS rocket is the most powerful in the world. It's pretty big too, taller than the icon building in downtown Norfolk. And today's unmanned mission represents the start of America's return to the moon. Part of that journey started in Hampton. Engineers at NASA Langley Research Center performed wind tunnel testing to ensure that that rocket doesn't break or shake apart and their work now on display for the world to see today. Morgan Norwood is in Cape Canaveral. Morgan, good morning. Good morning. The countdown is on right behind me. So much excitement here on the ground. 250,000 people watching from here, with millions more of you watching from home. We're all going to be witnessing the beginning of what NASA hopes will be a sustained presence on the moon. Here's how it works. Later this morning, sometime between 8:33 and 10:33 Eastern, NASA's new space launch system, the SLS, most powerful rocket in the world will fly for the first time, carrying the Orion space capsule with it. Now, Orion will take about three days to get to the moon. It's going to fly around it, then come back home. 42 days total for this mission. That return home is what NASA will be looking at very closely to eventually bring humans back down to Earth. And there's a two hour launch window to hit lunar orbit. So if things don't take off as planned today, don't worry. It will get up there. Friday is the next window. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Kennedy Space Center in Florida. OK, Morgan, thanks for that report. And Krispy Kreme is serving up a sweet treat in time for blast off. The Artemis Moon Donut will be available today and today only. And while the moon is not filled with cheese, these donuts do have cheesecake flavored filling.